Hello, Ultimate World, and welcome to the 15th game of the 2012 Next Gen Tour. We are here in Seattle, Washington, where the Next Gen College All-Stars are taking on Seattle Sockeye. I am Jackson Kelsey. I'll be doing the opening player announcements. Alex Thorne. Number three, from University of North Carolina, Wilmington, Tommy Lamar. Number five, from Texas, Will I Am Driscoll. Number six, from Laverne and Seattle, Washington, Matt Rader. Number seven, from George Washington, Chris Kocher. Number eight, from across the pond in Germany, Phil Haas. Number 10, from the University of Oregon, Dylan Freechild. Number 11, from Georgia Tech, Nick Lance. Number 16, from Claremont, Tommy Lee. Number 21, from Luther, Eric Johnson. Number 22, from the University of Oregon, Camden Allison Hall. Number 23, from the University of Colorado, Jimmy Butterboy Mickle. Number 32, from the University of Wisconsin, Callan Camp. Number 81, from Pittsburgh, Tyler, it's not delivery, it's DiGirolamo. Now, for your hometown Seattle Sockeye, starting off with number one, Tyler Kinley. Number two, Exton Titcomb. Number three, Jacob Spidel. Number four, Ali Lennon. Number five, Barrow Titcomb. Number six, Phil Murray. Number 10, Moses Rift. Number 11, Reed Koss. Number 13, the guy in crutches over there, Matt Sewell. Number 17, Maddie Zemmel. Number 19, Chris Kosedna. Number, number 20, Mike Caldwell. Number 22, Spencer Jackson Wallace. Number 23, Danny Karlinski. Number 24, Joe B.J. Sefton. 
Number 25, Frank Devin Barrick. Number 28, Duncan Lynn. Number 33, Eddie Feely. Number 40, Adam Holt. And I don't know who else I, there is out there. But there you have it, the Next Gen College All-Stars and the Seattle Sockeye. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, Jackson Kelsey, for doing those introductions. As he said, we are here in Seattle for the penultimate game of our tour. Exciting matchup against the Fish. Seattle Sockeye, of course. A very, very strong program. In the mid-2000s, they had one, two, three club championships in 2004, 2006, 2007. There are only a few of those players still on the field here. But that does not mean that the program isn't as strong. Next-Gen All-Stars are going to be starting today's game on defense. Seattle Sockeye on offense. Taking a look at the starting D-line, we have Will Driscoll, Tommy Lamar, Chris Kocher, Dylan Freechild, Eric Johnson, Nick Lance, Jimmy Mickle, and Seattle Sockeye player, hometown favorite, Matt Rader rounding that out. Offensive line for Sockeye. starting on defense. Sockeye, Moses Rifkin, Bill Murray, player on the Next Gen Tour last year. Todd Sliva, Danny Karlinski, Mike MC Caldwell, Spencer Wallace. And Chris Gassedner rounding out that line. First poll coming up from Mickle. Fielded by Kassedner up to Karlinski. Spencer Wallace, ISO. Down to Karlinski. Caldwell in the middle of the field to Rifkin, Murray, and Murray gets the hammer off to Spencer Wallace to the other side of the field. See Sakai working a lot of undercuts, unable to get open deep, Kassedner getting it up line. Takes a dump to Karlinski. Holt with the disc. Phil Murray going inside. Called not in. 
to Danny Karlinski, and he's going to force through the mark, get it to Moses Rifkin. And the first goal goes to Seattle Sockeye. They are up 1 0. Great movement by the fish in the first point. No turnovers. Taking a lot of undercuts until they finally get open underneath for the goal. Sox Sockeye's first defensive line. We have Reed Koss looking to pull the disc. Joe Sefton, we're going to call him DJ on this broadcast. Tyler Kinley, Ali Lennon, Frank Devin Barrick, and I believe that is Exton Tickham, and Todd Sliva. I'm a mistake Adam Holt for Todd Sliva in this first point. Looks like Sliva is playing off defense, Adam Holt is on offense. At the brick, Philip Haas has the disc. Looks like some zone defense on the handlers as Philip Haas is sitting back without someone guarding him man. The dump goes to him. He goes upfield to camp. Dump to Haas. Lee. Lee gets it off to Raider. Camp on the sideline. Gets it around to Allison Hall. Sockeye is now in man. The disc bouncing off Tommy Lee's hand. Sakai going for it immediately. Reed Koss getting a flick off the exit tip. And that is a break for the fish. A zone look and a lot of pressure on the next gen dumps. A lot of passes coming from the All-Stars. Finally a mistake happens. There's Tommy Lee dropping the disc. Sakai not wasting any time to take the defensive puck to a wide open X10. Sakai up 2-0. Defensive line for Sakai again. Todd Sliva. Sefton, Duncan Lynn, Tyler Kinley. Matty Zimmel getting on the line. Reed Koss, Frank Barrett. Matt Raider easily finds Tyler DiGirolamo. Matt Raider and Tyler DiGirolamo. Against the zone, DiGirolamo kidding past the deep. And that is too easy for an all-star offense. No mark on Raider. Tyler DiGirolamo with steps. That's going to be a goal 9 out of 10 times, assuming no one drops it. Stars down two to one. Seattle Sockeye on the field for a second time. Chris Kasedner, Spencer Wallace, Danny Karlinski. I believe that's Vero to come down. Adam Holt. 
Jacob Spidel and Moses Rifkin. Jimmy Mickle with the pull. Jimmy Mickle with the pull. That one comes back in, floating out the outfield. And Sakai almost immediately burning up the sideline, finding Jacob Spidel wide open in the end zone. Sakai is three, three to one. where the Emerald City Classic was going on a week earlier. Action All-Stars makes their way to the West Coast. Now on offense, Jimmy Mickle receiving the ball. Centers to Thorne. Side stack broken up from the zone. Mickle deep in his end zone. Gets a hammer off to Allison Hall on the sideline. He's up to Kotcher. Kotcher in a high count. Gets it off to Camp. Camp, another hammer to Allison Hall. Kotcher with the disc. Tommy Lamar left open in the middle of the field. Janin, Mickle, back to Janin. Upfield to Lamar. Tommy Lamar breaks the Tommy Janin. Alex Thorne draws off Reed Costas right in front of that disc. Lamar is able to find Colin Camp behind everyone. Making the score three to two. Raiders set to pull for the next in defense. Matt Raider with the pull for next gen. Fielded by Karlinski. Upfield to Kassetner. Able to get it to Dero Take come on the sideline. Kassetner, Murray. Murray breaks inside to Caldwell. And Caldwell. Leading hammer. Wow. Amazing catch by Danny Karlinski. Catching that hammer. Lang, Lang. Just bust off the ground. What a play. Danny Karlinski. Second or third year player on this sockeye from the University of Santa Cruz. And Caldwell throwing the leading hammer. He must have been watching the Rhino game as that was a theme in Portland. Now early in this game, Mike Caldwell throwing hucks off the hammer.
Sakai is able to retain their lead, four to two. Koss with the pull. Green Koss with the pull for Sakai. Tommy Lee fields it, centers to Dylan Freechild. Sakai has almost only thrown this zone look on defense. with the disc. DiGeralamo. Gets a high release off to Camp. Camp bolstering the Huck. Upfield to Raider. Philip Haas going up line. Tommy Lee is up line. Philip Haas. And that is a quick goal for next gen. Score is Sakai four, next gen three. A lot of good coverage from the Sakai defenders. Preventing the huck down on the disc side of the field meaning they're getting their players in front of the disc, not letting the throw go off. Next Gen responds by getting their handlers to gain the yards, going upfield and Tommy Lee sneaking past all the defenders into the goal. Game still within one, Sakai up a break. Offensive line. Spencer Wallace, Danny Karlinski, Phil Murray, Maybe Mike Caldwell, Adam Holt, Chris Kassedner fielding Holt. Holt with the disc. Upfield to Caldwell. Nick Lance. Getting in there. Poaching off to his defender, getting a body on Spencer Wallace. So un un uncontested foul. Spencer Wallace going to keep possession. Adam Holt on the sideline. Gets it up to Sedner. Hit called in the field because Sedner being marked by Thorne. Breaks inside to Karlinski. Wallace. And Wallace pivoting on his backhand. Gets foul run through by Will Driscoll. Uncontested foul. Just gets tapped in. Nice play by Nick Lance. Adam Holt able to get past Eric Johnson going on. Seattle Sakai is, is up five to three. Sakai up a brick, leading five to three early in the first half. Defensive line, Natty Zimmel, next gen all star from last year. Next to Joe Sefton, Duncan Lynn, Todd Sliva, Tyler Kinley, Frank Barrick, and Reed Koss with the pull. Janet handling, up to Raider. Gets it to DiGeralamo. And DiGeralamo throwing a huck to Colin Camp. Colin Camp almost with the layout of his own. 
can't get a hand on it. Maybe only in the second huck that we've seen in the game from the All-Stars. Normally known for their big throws and big plays. Sakai doing a very good job containing them and taking a very explosive team out of their element. Pick called in the field, doesn't affect the throw. Disc will stay at Tyler Kinley. Being marked by Camden Allison Hall. Duncan Lynn able to keep the disc after it bounces off his hands. Movement from the handlers is Tyler Kenley with the disc in the middle of the field. And Joe Sefton calling a timeout, trying to get their second break of the half. And we're gonna take a break for ourselves. We'll be back here in just a minute. Welcome back to Starfire Sports Stadium. Seattle Sockeye taking a timeout on their first deep point possession of this point. Joe Sefton in possession of the disc, coming in with the zero count. Sockeye trying to get their second break of the half. Going immediately with the dump to Tyler Kinley. Lynn with the disc. Back to Kinley. Sakai moving all the way downfield. All-Stars pushing him back. Septon with the disc. Gets it off to Barrick. And a travel called. Travel. Great downfield pressure from the bus. Asaka has lost 20 yards since the timeout. Lynn on the sideline around to Koss. And Koss going deep. Jannon is there against Kinley. Jannon can't get under it. And Tyler Kinley finally finds. Joe Sefton in the goal. Second break for Sakai. They get up six to three. Jan having, tr having trouble finding that disc. Can't quite play on it. And then losing his defender as he comes off of Tyler. G and gets open, open. And it looks like the All-Stars have called a timeout on the field. Short timeout after the they get broken twice. We're going to take a break too. We'll be back in a minute. Here in Starfire Stadium, Seattle Sockeye playing great early in this first half. In front of a home crowd, they get two breaks in the half. So far, perfect offense for Sockeye. Haven't seen a turnover from them. Only two turnovers from Next Gen. And the Fish has able, been able to convert them with no mistakes. Next Gen on offense, Phil Haas to Thorne. Raider, and Raider, on a Kotcher, to disc float. Oh, whoa! Chris Kotcher getting up in front of everyone. All-Stars just outside their end zone. Kotcher with the disc on the sideline. Lee all the way around to Lance. Lance has to dump to Kotcher. Kotcher up line. 
And Matt Rader gets to the cone, unguarded. Kachai Kacha returning the getting getting it back to Matt Rader. Matt Rader little on that on that. But Chris Kotcher getting the read in front of Matty Zimmel. Keeps a body off Joe Sefton. Joe Sefton is not a small player, let me tell you. Able to hold off a big man like that. Great play by Kotcher, keeping the offense alive. And then getting the assist. Next in defense, hoping to generate a turn. They haven't got one yet in this game. Dylan Freechild already on the disc as Adam Holt receives the pull. Next in throwing out a little zone of their own. Rifkin gets open and Barrow Tick come not in. Dumps to Wallace. Quick pass to Holt. Sakai offense still looking smooth. Spencer Wallace assist. Sakai pushes their lead back to three. Sakai sends it in next gen Sakai defense. Frank Devin Barrick, Reed Koss. Todd Sliva, Tyler Kinley, Duncan Lynn, Matty Z, Joe Sefton. Pole fielded by Haas on his goal line, up to Thorne. And Thorne going deep immediately to DiGirolamo. That disc, tight over, tight over in the end zone line. DiGirolamo giving lessons on that kick spot. Next, next gen five, Sakai seven. And next gen offense able to get back to their strong suit. The huck from Alex Thorne to Tyler DiGirolamo. Sakai up seven to five. So far their offense hasn't had a turn in the first half. They have to punch in this point to keep that stat accurate. Nick Lance with the pole. Fielded by Kalinski to Holt. Kasedner with the disc. Up to Karlinski. Karlinski getting fouled, going around, trying to get Caldwell in the middle of the field. Disc is going to come in at zero. Get Karlinski on the sideline. All the way around to Holt. To Caldwell. To Sedner. And Tyler DiGirolamo hits a D. Tyler, it's not delivery, it's DiGirolamo. 
gets in front of former next gen all Phil Murray. Next gen defense fence with their first possession of the game. Chance to get a break back. Nick Lance. Seven yards to go. Kassetner calling a foul on Tommy Lamar. Saying he pushed off him. Just to tap back in. Lance getting the around backhand upfield. And a foul called. Adam Holt putting his body on Tommy Lee. Another around break to go up line. Swings it all the way around to Tommy Lee. Finds Allison Hall in the middle of the field. Lance resets. And a foul called on the mark, uncontested. This count is gonna go back to zero. To Eric Johnson. Lance, upfield to Jannon. Lamar. DiGirolamo. Resets to Lance. Great goal line defense from Sakai. Next Gen All-Stars having to take a lot of resets, getting the dump, playing the horizontal game. Up to Lance, Lee. The flick break, centers to Lamar. Lamar goes all the way around the break side to Jannon. And Jannon inside, finding Camden Allison Hall. Next gen able to get a break back, bringing this game within one. And great throws from the All Stars to, to the Dead side of the field. And get one of those breaks back. Very impressive play by both defensive lines. Sakai, Sakai defensive line, two possessions of the disc. They've been able to punch them both in. And now the next gen all stars with their first possession of the disc. Very methodically working the disc upfield and punching it in for a break. This is shaping up to be one of those games where possession is gonna be the most important thing. Jimmy Mickle with the ball. Fielded by Holt. to Karlinski. A field to Holt, and Holt taking the huck, going to Phil Murray, guarded by Eric Johnson, but gonna get everyone on. And Phil Murray, one of the most exciting players to watch after he scores. Gotta watch him all summer, last year on the next tour. And this year, it's been a big offensive cutter for Seattle Sockeye as Sockeye takes half, eight to six. A lot of highlights here in the first half. Great playing from both teams. Teams. We'll see who's able to get up in the second. The second half as his next gen is down, but we've certainly seen a comeback. Big of this. You should just join us back here at Starfire Stadium in 10 minutes.
for the conclusion of the 15th game of the 2012 tour. We will catch you in a bit. And we are back here in Starfire Sports Stadium. Seattle, Washington, Next Gen All-Stars, second to last game of the tour. So far, the story of this game has been great offensive efficiency from both teams. Only three turnovers in the entire first half. Two coming from the Next Gen offense, one coming from the Seattle offense. But defensive lines punching in their opportunities. I was talking to Sakai veteran Matt Skip Sewell before the game. He was talking about one of the things from ECC that Sakai was really trying to improve was their defense efficiency. Of course, Sakai is known for their stringent defense. They're able to get the disc a lot, but have had trouble punching it in. Not today, though. As Nexion starts the half on offense, going against this defensive line, seeing the zone again. Quick movement from the bus. Matt Raider going to Free Child. Free Child not expecting it and can't get a hand on it. Great attempt by Philip Haas. Still finds the hands of Ali Lennon. And Sakai in the red zone. Sefton just outside his goal line. Goes with the hammer over the top. And a push pass from Exton Titcom to Matty Zimmel. And Sakai starts the second half with a break. It's an unforced error from Raider to Free Child. Trying to, trying to get the disc moving quickly through the zone. And again, Sakai, Sakai's defense 100% when they've had possession of the disc. They extend their lead to three, up nine to six. D-line for Sakai, Ali Lennon, Matty Zimmel. Todd Sliva, Tyler Kinley, Frank Barrick, Joe Sefton, and Reed Koss. Matt Raider keeping possession. Gets it up to Tommy Lamar. And Lamar goes deep to Jimmy Mickle. Mickle, no pressure. pressure. Catching that one just outside his goal line. Dumps a free child, back to Mickle. And Jacob Jannon, unmarked, right in front of the cone. Gets the goal, cuts the lead to two. Next in at seven to nine. Again, we see the All-Stars being successful. Back to, back to their butter, the deep game. And outside, the end zone, quick, quick passes, finally hitting Jacob Jannon. Next in defense, only able to generate one turn in the first half. Hoping to get a few more in the second half. Needing to get a few more to cut this lead. Bring the back, back. Phil Haas with the ball for next gen. Adam Holt, upfield. Karlinski puts a backhand to Phil Murray. Phil Murray speeds past Eric Johnson again. Throwing up, up the next gen X's. Not sure where his true team devotion lies. 
loves playing with Seattle, but I'm sure he misses the bus. And Seattle Sockeye getting their Huck game going. Still up three. Reed Koss pull. Ten yards in the end zone. All stars facing the zone. Nick Lance left without a dump, has to force it to Chris Kotcher, and Todd Sliva goes down. A hush goes over the crowd. Sliva's bid coming into Kotcher. Kotcher. Taking a second to get up, he's walking off the field. Eric Johnson comes in for Chris Kotcher. And Danny Karlinski comes in for Sliva. Reed Koss picking up and goes for it immediately. Finds Tyler Kinley in the end zone. The dead side side. No one no one making that throw to go to go off. And Sakai's defense still a hundred percent efficiency. Up three breaks now, makes a lead 11 to seven. In a tough situation for the All-Stars to be in. The zone from Sakai has been very efficient in this game. Really taking away those deep shots and creating a lot of confusion in the backfield. When it seems like there's a dump cut, need a defend, defender out of nowhere, and they have to look to their second or third option. We see the zone again. Next in offense, looking a lot more patient. Thorne gets it to DiGirolamo. DiGirolamo centers back to Thorne. Jannon on the sideline. Wow. Great throw to find DiGirolamo. Joe Sefton laying out on the fake. Now Nexon moving quickly upfield. High release to Thorne. Thorne trying to get up early to attack the disc. Maybe mistimes his jump as Duncan Lynn creates pressure. Now Sakai defense with possession. 60 yards to go. Tyler Kinley on the sideline. And he goes deep. Tyler Dijeral there. And Frank Bear calling the foul. Dijeralamo unhappy. Looks like Dijeralamo has inside position. There's some contact. But the observer rules no foul. Nice 
Next Gen Tour realizes the importance of having observers at the games, and 14 out of 16 of these games have had observers. The first turnover that we've seen from the Next Gen defense, and on the hammer gets tipped. Tyler DiGeralmo can't get a hand on it. And Sakai defense again as Ali Lennon deep to Tanley. And Tanley lays it out, getting the score and the break. A huge for Sakai. Up 12 to 7. Oh, wow. Um, here we go. The disc is going all the way back to the hammer throw that Matt Raider threw. That was the turn. If you heard a loud slap on the field, I thought it was his disc. Turned out, turned out to be hitting Raider's hand, uncontested foul. And so next gen, able to keep possession. No break for Sakai. Very fortunate turn of events for the All-Stars. They're trying to keep the lead within three. All the way across the field to Raider. Lamar, Raider. And Raider going deep to DiGeralmo. And DiGeralmo burns past everyone, getting the easy goal. Eight to 11, 11 all -star, all stars. Still down three breaks, down three points. <laughs> Seattle Sockeye's offense being very stingy with the disc, only turning it over once in the first half. Next in defense is going to have to ramp up the pressure. Start generating a few more turns to get themselves back in this game. After a great first half of the tour, they're now in a very difficult run with world champion sock or world champion revolver. New hot team, Rhino. And then Sakai and Furious coming up. All very strong teams. Adam Holt with the disc in the middle of the field. Spencer Wallace. Danny Karlinski on the side, marked by Chris by Chris Kocher. Gets the dump off to Holt. Holt on the sideline. And at a high count, he goes deep. Danny Karlinski, Kocher and Chase. Karlinski able to get it, and he calls timeout as soon as he catches it. Timeout going to come in on a zero count just outside the goal line. Great position for the Sakai offense to be in. A timeout. We're going to take a timeout as well. We'll be back with you in just a minute. Welcome back to Starfire Sports Stadium. Seattle Sakai just outside their goal line. After the huck goes up to Danny Karlinski, he calls the timeout, wanting to punch this in, keep their lead. So disc gets tapped in. Isolation, Chris Kassedner. And he's able to shake and bake Nick Lance until he gets open on the live side. Extends the Sakai lead 12 to eight. 
we're, we're talking about the difficulty of the West Coast side of the tour. If we're talking UPA club championships, we've had only West Coast teams, except for Chain Lightning in 2009, winning the club championships. California Condors taking the first win of the millennium in 2000 and 2001. And Furious George went in 2002, 2003. Sockeye gets their championship in 04 until Furious gets it back in 05. And then Sockeye repeats in 06 and 07. San Francisco Jam gets on the board in 2008. Of course, Chain Lightning is our only East Coast. San Francisco Revolver started their run with a win in their past two years. So in the last leg of the tour, we have eight club championships between three different teams. Nine if you count Jam, who is no longer a team out of San Francisco. Off the brick, next gen offense breaks through quickly. Nickel to Lamar, free child. <laughs> Round to Raider. <laughs> Raider blades it all the way. DiGeralmo and DiGeralmo sends it back across the field, finding Tyler Tommy Lamar as he's able to get up and get the disc up in the air. The rarely seen backhand blade. blade. Tommy Lamar gets up over Matty Zimmel. Matty Zimmel no longer a next generation player. Was on the bus last year, graduate of Colorado. Matty Zimmel in his first year of Seattle Sockeye. Been told by Skip that he is one of those breakthrough players on the rise. Now we have Sockeye offense back on the field. Spencer Wallace with the disc. Up to Kassedner. Able to get it to Rifkin. Sinners to Murray. Round to Wallace. Great catch by Jacob Spidel. But he, he tries to throw the lefty backhand to Moses Rifkin. Just a little too far out. One of, the, one of those conservation of greatness play. Now next in defense with their second possession of the game. Really need to take the opportunity to work this disc upfield and punch it in. Thorne with the disc, up to Johnson. And Johnson in a high count, no options, calls his timeout. Smart timeout as he couldn't find anyone to get the disc off to. And not wanting to risk just throwing the ball up for anyone. Eric Johnson, one of the captains here in the All-Star Tour. And showing a lot of intelligence with that call. As I've said, this is only the second time the next-gen defense has been able to get possession of the disc in the entire game. There's only been one point 
with multiple turnovers. In the second half, Nexion turned it over and they were able to get it back and then convert the score. But retention rate from both teams is huge. Especially at 12-9, Nexion wanting to put it in, get themselves back in the game, maybe get a little bit of momentum back on their side. Just getting set to be tapped in. Immediately gets the disc off to Lance into open space. Back to Johnson. Round to Thorn. Thorn goes all the way around to Lance. DiGirolamo on the sideline. And Eric Johnson finally finds Colin Camp. Gets the blade over everyone. And a much needed break for the All-Stars. So they cut the lead to two. Still down two breaks. A lot of good switches from the Sakai defense out there. Really not wanting to give up the deep look. It's been killing them when Nexion is able to get a huck off and get some yards on their players. Now Nexion defense, maybe with some momentum on their side. Looking to get another break back and cut the lead to one. Offensive line for Sakai. Adam Holt. Danny Karlinski. Phil Murray. Mike Caldwell. Vero Titcomb. Jacob Spidel. And Chris Cassini. Karlinski in the center of the field. Up to Kassedner. Foul called, coming in at zero. Breaks it all the way to Caldwell. Danny Karlinski. Holt with the disc. To Phil Murray in the center of the field. Sedner to Holt. Travel. Travel called on the throw. Active travel calls by the observers. This is going to go back. Karlin Karlinski gets it. Eric Johnson, great pressure. Phil Murray gets it across to Caldwell. And Caldwell goes deep to Danny Karlinski. And Karlinski able to lay out. <laughs> Karlinski's second layout grab coming off of Mike Caldwell Huck. Danny Karlinski signing the disc, throwing it back in the crowd, and much to the crowd's disappointment, that disc gets thrown back into the field. Unfortunately, we only have one game disc to play with. Sakai up 13 to 10. Late in the game, next gen offense needing to punt. Pull coming from Reed Koss. Pull 
fielded by Mickle, up to Thorne. And we see a man look from Sakai. Joe Sefton poaching off his defender. Great play to get a layout from the front free child. And Saka is at 14 to 10, game point. And Nextron is gonna call a timeout, needing to. At game point, Nextron really needs to find something to get something going. Their timeout, we're gonna take a timeout for ourselves. Be back after this epic. Now we are back here in Starfire Sports Stadium. Sakai at 14 to 10 on defense after a huge break from Joe oh, Seth. Seth. The pole goes out of bounds. Tommy Lee to take it at the brick. Again, we see a man look from Sakai. Horizontal stack from the bus. Haas able to off to Lance. Off to, Lance. to Raider. And Raider hammer to Jacob Janin. Jacob Janin sneaking past everyone. Action stays alive this point. Jacob, Jacob gets, gets past everyone. And a defensive line that needs to get the turn to keep this game going. Camden, Allison Hall, Nick Lance, Tyler DiGirolamo, Alex Thorne, Dylan Freechild, Jimmy Mickle, and Tommy Lamar. The offensive line hoping to end it for Sakai. Chris Kassedner, Jacob Spidel, Spencer Wallace, Adam Holt, Phil Murray, Danny Karlinski, and Moses Rifkin. Pull coming from Mickle. That is going to bounce just in bounds. Adam Holt on the sideline. Gets it off to Wallace. And an error gives Nextion the disc. Almost in the red zone. Nick Lance with possession. Hammers it around to Allison Hall. Back to Lance. Free child. And Lance gets a hammer. Tommy Lamar is there. And that is the All-Stars making it 12-14. They are still in this game. Next in defense coming down with a lot of pressure. Getting an unforced turn from Sakai. And defense still facing a do or die situation. Facing this offensive line for Seattle Sockeye. Chris Kassedner, Spencer Wallace, Danny Karlinski, Mike Caldwell, 
Adam Holt, Daryl Titcomb, and Phil Murray. Holt, Holt goes up. It is beautiful. Landing deep in the end zone, center of the field. Karlinski up to Holt. Holt with the disc. Pick called downfield. A lot of intensity from the next gen players out here. Just goes all the way around to Caldwell. Wallace. Come to come. Dump to Holt. Pick called in the field. Sakai in a vertical stack. Excuse me, horizontal stack. Violation. It looks like there's an injury sub. Chris Kassetner goes off the field. Tyler Kinley comes in in the sub. <laughs> Eric Johnson tries to come in for Phil Haas on the injury sub. Haas not wanting any of it. Got to love to see the players who want to stay on the field and make the play. Caldwell up to Titcomb on the sideline. It's around to Karlinski. And a travel called. Karlinski with the disc marked by Lance. Caldwell with the disc. All the way up to Wallace. And Wallace leading Phil Murray. Tommy Lee is there. And Phil Murray making the play to end the game. Great job keeping Tommy Lee off his and Sakai is able to hand next gen. Another loss on this tour. A strong showing from the team from Seattle. Great, great possession and they win this game 15 to 12. We'd like to thank our sponsors that made the Next Gen Tour possible, Patagonia, Discraft, and Elemental Technology, getting the live stream to you viewers at home. I'd like to thank our dedicated staff in the booth, Spencer Walk, excuse me, Vin Bowie and Kimber Coles. Of course, our cameraman, Brian Bedord. Our guest cameraman today, Alex Athworthy, Axworthy. Our observers on the field, Jonna Hawmaker and John Bowman. Myself, I am, I am Topher Davis. Be sure you cat catch the Next Gen All-Stars in their last game as they take on Furious George. Our second Canadian stop, and the, la the last stop that the bus will make this this. Thanks again, thanks again for tuning in. We hope you had a wonderful, wonderful time. We will catch you in Vancouver. Vancouver.